In this example, we're asked to evaluate each of the following expressions using the given table of values. If we examine the table of values, notice in the first row we're given the values for x, which are input values 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're given the function f of x evaluated for each x values. We have g of x evaluated for each one of the x values. In this first example, we're asked to find f of g of 6. So in order to find f of g of 6, I'll use my order of operations and I'll find or simplify the innermost set of parentheses. In order to find g of 6, I'll simply take the domain value 6 I'll stick it into the g of x function and it outputs an 8. So g of 6 is equal to 8. Next I'll find f of 8. So I'll take the x value of 8 and I'll input it into the f of x function and it returns the value of 8. So f of g of 6 is equal to 8. In the next example we're asked to find g of f of 7. So once again I'll simplify the innermost set of parentheses so we'll find f of 7. So I'll simply, simply take the domain value 7 and I'll insert it into the f of x function and it returns a 5. Next, I'll find g of 5, so I'll take the domain value 5, I'll input it into the g of x function, and it outputs a 9. Therefore, g of f of 7 is equal to 9. Next, we'll find f of f of 6. So first we'll find f of 6, so we'll take the domain value 6, we'll input it into the f of x equation, and it outputs a 7. So now we'll find f of 7, we'll take the domain value 7, we'll input it into the f of x function, and it returns a 5. Therefore, f of f of 6 is equal to 5. For our last problem, we'll find g of g of 9. So once again, I'll find g of 9. So I'll input 9 into the g of x function, and it returns of 7. So now we'll find g of 7. So we'll take the domain value 7. We'll insert it into the g of x function, and it outputs a 7. Therefore, g of g of 9 is equal to 7.